Hello, Lao Shi Lawrence McElroy here from Water Tiger School of Tai Chi Chuan. Uh, well, myself and my little helper, this is Sasha, aka the cute thing of evil. Uh, we have just a quickie for you today. Um, all the way back in July of last year, July 23rd of 2020, uh, we did a deep drill into the split leg hamstring stretch from yoga. We're going to do a little addendum to that today, um, show you a way that maybe you can deepen your split leg hamstring stretch. Um, by the way, video is still, you know, in our library here. Uh, it's in the playlist uh, stretch and physical training. Um, so keep that in mind if you want to see the, the deep drill. Uh, since we are going to do a stretch, we'll do a really quick uh, sort of casual aerobic warm up. I've actually been doing stuff this morning, so I really don't need a warm up. But you may, and by the way, you may want a yoga block or some such, something that you can use during the stretch. Um, just realized my yoga blocks are not available. Um, so, you know, maybe like a little step stool or something. Or, you know, a complete works of Shakespeare. Who knows what. Um, but anyway, so let's just get this warm up going. Not going to time it, not going to count out. Um, I'm going to start with a run. I know I'm cutting off my head. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit of a run. You can, you can march. You know, you can do a little jog. But I'm just going to run for a little while just to get some blood and oxygen. Make sure that my legs are heated up a bit before we go into the stretch. And again, you can march vigorously or you can march slowly. Just want to get some blood and oxygen going. That's all this is. Breathing. And the lungs, the heart working a little bit. Now I'm going to do some jumping jacks. Now I'm going to do little half jacks. And half jack is defined as sort of like that. You can do little mini jacks. You can do step jacks. Whatever works for you. So again, just going to go for a little while. We're just going to do three things, the run, the jacks for a little while. By the way, you also have two jacks. I also like to use the half jacks. My chest and back are tight and you throw the elbows up and behind me and sort of create some heat in the shoulders. But again, you can be doing this. And now my final little aerobic warm up is going to be um, Jump rope, but you know, air rope, no rope. So this is what I'm going to be doing. You can do this, little kicks, little flicks, but the wrist action is important, gets the arms involved. And again, just gonna go for a little while. You can also do both feet. You can kick the legs back, do little double jumps, or just the singles. Just gonna go for about, I don't know, five, four, three, two, one. So, just want a little bit of movement. Again, you may want a yoga block. You may want a chair, a little step stool or something. So you can have some support. You also, of course, have the support of your leg that you can use. I'm going to go sans those things. Split leg hamstring stretch real quick is I have my tape here so you can see. I'm going to put the right heel on the line, on the line of tape. I'm going to set the left foot toward you. So here you go. The heels are in alignment. The back foot is out at around a 45 degree angle. So not front, not right straight toward the camera, not out to that wall, but a point about halfway in between. Again, I don't want too much distance between the feet. Don't want them too close together. Just right, square off the hips. Now some people will do this, they'll reach up, and do the swan dive down. We're not going to do that. Again, this is this will introduce you into how you use 
your leg, your own leg as a support, is just walk down the leg. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm turning the back hip, the right hip forward, turning the left hip back. And I'm finding wherever my range of motion is to start. Just a little bit more distance for me. Now, right now, I've got my fingertips down. And that's where I'm at this morning. That's yesterday's leg workout. And the tip is, a lot of people just hang out here and they're static. I don't like, I don't like doing pulses, bounces that can stretch the hamstring too far. It'll snap like a rubber band that's been stretched too far. But what you can do is while you're here, bend that leg. And now I know you're looking straight at me, so I'm going to turn to the side here. But now I'm actually resting my torso on my bent leg. So I was here. I'm down here, just hanging out for a little while. Now I'm going to find an inhale, and then I'm going to exhale. And you see, I'm already to the point where I could go from the fingertips, where I was when I started, to closed fists. I'm a little bit closer. I'm sort of feeling this stretch out. And then I'm going to bend that leg again. And now I'm going to see if I can do the palms down. Back leg is straight, heels are in alignment. And I'm going to straighten that leg. Yeah, not quite to palms down, but I can go from the closed fists to pads of the fingers, and the palm of the hand is pretty close, but not quite there. Leg straight, right? Yes, we're bending it, but then we're straightening it again, lengthening the leg. Right hip is still turning forward. Left hip is still turning back. I'm going to go down one more time. And just see. Now again, got the palms of the, on the ground. Straighten that leg and see if I can keep the palms on the ground. Really, really close to this not being right. If I bring my hands in a little bit closer, now I'm not straining quite as much. Out here, of course, I'm a little bit closer. And then I'm going to bend that leg and come up. So that's all it is. Those not pulses, but those little bends. There she is. Swivels walking around. So just so I have balanced sides, right? Now my left toes are going to go out to around the 45. Right toes forward, turning the hips. Now, when we, whenever we introduce this in a class, I always say, and it's probably at the head of that video from last July 23rd, um, 2020. Seems like a century ago, although things are looking like it's going to be 2020 part two. This may be enough. Turning the hips. Maybe your hamstrings are really tight. Maybe your hips are really tight. Who knows? But this might be it for you. Otherwise, go on down. You can walk the hands down the leg. You can just lower. You can do the whole swan divey thing. Oops, I'm falling over. Boom. And I'm going down. And again, notice this side, I'm starting on the pads of my fingers. I think I'm going to stay in this position. So you had the profile in the first round. I'm just going to stay facing the camera. I'm going to bend that. Now my right leg still turning the left hip forward and the right hip back. And now my torso is resting on that leg. I'm going to find an inhale because I want to exhale as I straighten that leg. There we go. A few breaths. And then bend it again. And then straighten it. And notice, I didn't do it while I was down, but I went from hands close, 
and my palms are on the ground and they're farther away from my foot now, left and right. I'm going to bend it one more time. I'm going to go for reverse palms. A few breaths here. Find an exhale, find an inhale, sorry, and exhale. Strain that leg and move maybe the hands a little bit farther away again. So closer, more support, higher up from the ground, farther away. And of course, if you had a yoga block, you have the different levels, lengthwise, widthwise, flat side. By the time you get to the flat side of the yoga block, you can get your fingertips on the floor. Bend that leg. Come on up. So, simple, not a lot to it. All you got to do, don't pulse, don't bounce. Just that front leg as you're down, whatever your position is, bend it. And then straighten it again. And feel what it is, bend it. And then straighten it again. And see if you can get a little bit deeper in your split leg hamstring stretch. So we've been doing these videos about every three weeks or so uh, since we moved away from um, the weekly thing as things started to reopen. Um, that's still the plan. However, since this is a short one, uh, there might be another one in the next few days. Um, and then again, it might not be until next week. Um, we'll see. Uh, and if we do end up in another lockdown, another home isolation situation, um, they'll probably be more frequent again. But let's not go there. Um, but that's sort of where we're headed. Um, Suffolk County is on the border of being a hot zone in New York. Um, we're not quite there yet. Um, but the first part of June, we were at a 0.3% infection rate. Um, and the last couple of days we've been uh, teasing at 4%, um, and it's been going up, and vaccination rates are stagnant. Um, so there you go. Uh, just remember, uh, rumors are carried by haters, spread by fools, and accepted by idiots. Um, and that's all I'll say about that. So take care, stay safe, um, probably should be masking up. Um, but always the three W's, uh, wash your hands, watch your distance, and yeah, I think we should go back to wearing masks. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Uh, take care. As always, um, you know, we'll, we'll post a link to this on our Facebook page, um, and that means you'll, uh, you know, the comments are open, of course, to the public on the Facebook page. We do um, preview all of the uh, comments on the YouTube channel, not because we want to edit, um, you know, actual comments out, but because we want to catch um, the links to places that shouldn't be there that apparently the YouTube algorithms don't catch. So, Lashi Lawrence McElroy, probably back again sooner than usual. Um, and this one only because this is a short little video. So, take care, stay safe. Catch you the next time.